All right. So before we can get started doing the center of gravity heuristic or the center of gravity optimal location for the manufacturing plant that we have, we need to first enter in all the distance formulas. And that's what we're going to do here. To find the distance between any two points in an XY coordinate system, you use this formula that we have right down here. The distance equals the square root of x1 minus x2 quantity squared plus y1 minus y2 quantity squared. We're going to enter that into each of these cells signifying the distance between this warehouse and the plant. It should be noted that these two coordinates here, 5 and 5, merely represent arbitrary coordinates for our manufacturing plant. We're going to decide this in a future Excel spreadsheet. So let's enter in these distances. We start with pushing in the equal sign and then SQRT represents square root in Excel. Now for each of these sub quantities or parentheses, the things that are in parentheses, we need to similarly put parentheses in the Excel formula. So x1 minus x2 would be the x coordinate of the first warehouse minus the x coordinate of the plant because we're finding the distance between the warehouse and this plant. And now I want to absolute reference the x coordinate for the plant by pushing F4. And then I square this initial quantity just as it is in this formula. And then I add it to the next quantity, which is y1 minus y2. I'm going to absolute reference that y coordinate as well. And again, we need to square this quantity, just as it is in this formula. And now we've got both of these entered in up here. And I'm going to close the parentheses and hit Enter. And it's going to find this distance for us. And there it is. Then I'm going to copy it down. And it copied the cell automatically, the formula automatically down through all of these cells. Lastly, we need to calculate the total load distance. For this, we're going to multiply each load by the distances between the warehouse and the plant, and then add up each of these products. So we're going to naturally use sum product, the sum product formula. We type equals, we type sum product, open the parentheses, and we select the load column comma, the distance column. This is going to automatically multiply each load by its adjoining distance and then add them up. Some product, that's what that means. So, now I just hit enter and it's calculated the total load distance. And now we're going to move on to the next spreadsheet to use the heuristic and then optimize the location for this plant based on the total load distance.